I forgot to look at the time when I started. I'm gonna go over I already know. I'm gonna mess up. I'm gonna mess up. Alright. So uh you know, I wasn't I wasn't always the uh internationally ignored superstar you see barely standing before you today. <laughs> but before drugs and prison I had a promising career, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Most of the stuff that Mark was talking about happened a long time ago. <laughs> but, uh, but dig it. Um, I, I, am, I am smarter than I look. It, it, uh, I came up with this, uh, this song that I'm about to play for you. It, it, it's about like, like uh, when, um, when you got something going wrong, right? And, and somebody says, how you doing? Just a simple question like that, right? And you're like, I'm fine. And they're like, no, 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 no. How are you really doing? And you're like... Well, how am I really doing? Well, I, I don't know. I got like $149 in the bank. I'm working my ass off. The IRS is after me. I just bought these two brand new, beautiful purple couches off of Craigslist on Metairie, and the cat got a urinary tract infection, pissed all over the ditch. And, and, then, and then your buddy, and then your buddy, right, says some stuff back to you like you need to be more positive. <laughs> Right? And like all you looking for is like a hug. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And, and I wrote this song about like a cat that, you know, when you got somebody that in your life that no matter how bad they're doing, no matter, you know, they're, you know they, they, they got terrible illnesses in their family and their chips are down and they're just always positive, right? Like, don't you hate that person? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm trying to be like that now. I'm older, I've realized there's no use in worrying about it, stuff I can't do anything, but you know, yeah. Anyway, I wrote this song a long time ago, and, and funny enough, like modern day psychiatry and psychology actually caught up with me, right? And they, they came up with a name for it. They call it Toxic Positivity. I wrote it years ago. I wrote it, I, right, and I wrote it at, at the guy that, that was so positive, his name is Mike Zito, right? and then I tricked him into paying the recording, and then after it was over, I said, I wrote that shit at you, man. <laughs> anyway, I didn't call it toxic positivity, I said, I called it don't badger the witness, don't badger the witness, right, saying some stuff. Right? All right, anyway, this is how it goes. <laughs> that was like my 20 minutes right there. <laughs> I'm done after that. I had a cool encore, believe me. It was the best thing ever. Anyway, anyway. anyway I'm going to bring it in one time and you boys just follow me. All right, I'll play the solo harmonica thing. <laughs>
Bob Welsh. 